He's a very funny guy. You're gonna love him. Give it up for Dean Jennings. How y'all doing tonight? Oh, come on, folks. Give me some energy. That's better than checks in the mail, by the way. I got a Facebook message the other day. Kind of pissed me off. Yeah. Do you want another shot? She left the whole time. It threw me off. But I got a Facebook message from a little girl, uh, and uh, she said, you're cute, but you need to lose weight. So it motivated me, and I am glad to say I lost 120 pounds. Maybe. That's because I killed her and buried her in my backyard. <laughs> The fact of the matter is, I am a big guy, and hush, <laughs> I am a big guy, and I am trying to lose weight, and uh, a buddy of mine told me about the race against racism, and I wanted to, I wanted to run in it, but uh, come to find out it was a 5K <laughs> Yeah. 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 That's a new joke. <laughs> But all in all, with me being a big guy, I was worried about my health, so I went to my doctor. And he said, you know what? I want the same thing she had, and I was wanting to get it's it's called chewing. on the t-shirt so you can see me. That's a thank you, folks. How many people are single and dating? No, no, no. One lady in the back, she's like me, but you need to lose some weight. Now, I'm dating now, and uh, I was with a girl the other night, and uh, she made me feel like the world's greatest lover. Until I found out she had asthma. <laughs> Dating scene now, it's, it's kind of I, kind of odd. I mean, I, I dated, I dated a good girl and uh, dated a few other people, and uh, I thought I found the right one for me. She was an F girl, but come to find out, she cheated on me. The bad thing is, I didn't see the signs. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got set up on a blind date and I was kind of scared because when I walked up to her she had an Adam's apple huger than mine and uh, the date went okay which was kind of weird but uh, we went back to he she's house and uh, <laughs> she asked me if I wanted to have sex in that deep, early voice of hers. <laughs> and I said, no, honey, I can't. I don't drive stick. <laughs> in my line of work, I've got a lot of opportunities to just think, because I drive a lot. And I always wondered, would a post-op transsexual be considered a Decepticon? <laughs> Do hookers that only give hand jobs work their fingers to the bone? <laughs> do, you, do you ever get that feeling whenever you hear somebody stutter to just yell, Remix! <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wonder if stuttering people have normal orgasms? <laughs> Do you ever wonder if a bouncer in a gay bar would be considered a flamethrower? Trust me, folks, it will get worse. Where's Jay? Is that my way for Jerry? All right. Uh, anybody uh, had odd jobs? They look like they are over there, don't they? You all work it. You, you've got your damn dream job. <laughs> People, you gotta keep up with me. I'm like a parasite, I feed off your energy. Come on. Y'all already out here because I'm
I've had some odd jobs. I worked at Starbucks, but there wasn't enough perks. I worked at Target and kept missing the mark. But my best job was at Home Depot. I got to help a lady with a mirror that she bought, and I asked her if she wanted a screw for that. <laughs> Have I waited on you all? Well, I bet it was. Because you'll be surprised at what she said. <laughs> Trust me, honey, everybody there was. Because she replied, no, but I'll blow you for a lawnmower. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with this last joke. When I was little, I was always afraid of a guy in a black Trans Am. Because he'd always pick up us little boys. And one day, I'm walking home from school, and I see this damn Trans Am. Scared to death, frozen to death, did not know what the hell to do. He rolls down his window, pulls out a bag of candy, and says, Hey, little boy, I'll give you some candy if you come in my car. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honey, this is for you because when I say it, you give me the bag, I'll come in your mouth. <laughs>